Hey everyone, it's MJ and in this video we're going to be talking about the normal distribution and how it got its term of normal. I mean, if we had a look at the normal distribution, we can see that it is bell-shaped and it is a continuous distribution. It's also known as the Gaussian distribution. Now, although Carl Gauss was a very intelligent man, he actually didn't discover it. And it's weird because this is the same thing with the Poisson distribution. Um, Simon Poisson also didn't discover it. So who did? Well, I think both of these distributions were most likely discovered by this guy called Abraham de Mauve. And he was an absolute genius, but not many people know about him because he was constantly being outshone by his best friend, Isaac Newton. Anyway, what uh, Abraham de Mauve would do is that he would plot the results of multiple binomial distribution simulations and he discovered a pattern that resembled a bell shape. And this discovery led to the start of us finding the central limit theorem, which gave birth to modern statistics. And, and that's the thing, is that this curve would become so famous that it would get the name normal. And you know, normal means usual, typical, or expected. Because again and again, people would plot data and they would see the bell curve. You know, it was to be expected, it was normal, and soon normality started to become an assumption for a whole bunch of data sets. However, however, someone called Mandelbrot, the guy who discovered fractals, warned the world that financial prices were not normal. In fact, he said that they were an example of wild randomness and had infinite variance. But the world ignored him because the normal distribution just worked so well with models. I mean, there was so much mathematical support and as soon as you start introducing infinite variance, you're gonna start breaking our actuarial models. And so regulators ignored him and stuck with normal models to calculate their risk. Thus, the financial world underestimated risk and it was a big stuff up. You know, we saw in 2008 the Great Recession um, the, the only happy part of this whole story is that Mandelbrot only died in 2010, which means he got to see the world make one of the biggest mistakes ever that he had actually warned them against. Um, and that's why I kind of wonder if, if his last words were, I told you so. But this is what makes stats so interesting, is that if you understand statistics, you can be like Mandelbrot and be potentially like a world hero and, and saving the day. Um, yeah, I put Hawkeye there because he's like the one superhero who doesn't have any powers. He just kind of yeah, runs around with his bow and arrow. And you can do the same. You can become a superhero if you understand statistics. And I know we're going a little bit off topic here, but I was really bummed that old Hawkeye wasn't in the, the last Avenger movie. And uh, I'm hoping he's going to return and be, he's going to be the hero to take down Thanos. I think, I think that's what's going to happen in Avengers 4. We're going to see Hawkeye versus Thanos. It's going to be a showdown and it's going to be amazing. Uh, but sorry, I'm going off topic. So let's end the video there. And let me know if you've got any questions around statistics or the Avenger movie. Cheers, everyone.